Blocktober, Blocktober, the month of October. Blocktober is an event that begins October 1st and ends October 31st. And for the entire month, you can see level designers, game environment artists, and game designers sharing their blackouts for how they start creating level designs and game environments. Last year, in October 2017, Michael Barclay, game designer from Naughty Dog, started the hashtag on Twitter to honor blackouts, because level blackouts are art. And now, in the month of October, I wanted to do a video, a quick start guide to Blocktober. So here's everything you need to know to get started for Blocktober in the month of October. First, what is a blackout? Blackout is one of the most important beginning phases of your level design and environment art creation. There are some other terms used for blackout that you may have heard. This includes block in, white box, block mesh, gray box, but they all mean the same thing. And blackout is a process where you use primitive geometric shapes such as cubes, spheres, cylinders, planes, etc. and block in your level designs, game environments, and game art assets. During this process, your goal is entirely focused on blocking in the layout, the shape, establishing size, scale, proportion, and composition of your environment. And if you're creating a playable level, you also focus on playable space, on the flow, on the pacing, gameplay implementation, and scripting so you can begin playtesting. Blackout's purpose is not to finish a level or a game environment. It's not to make it pretty, it's not to texture, not to light, and not to detail. Nothing is final in your blackouts, and your blackouts will change. The blackout phase often starts very rough and messy. You have to be flexible to be able to change things quickly while working on the entire map on the entire layout, determining the size, testing scale and proportion, and establishing the playable space. Remember, during blackouts, use simple geometric shapes and placeholder geometry. You want quick iterations and updates. As you work, iterate, update and refine, your blackouts will eventually become the frame or the skeleton of the level, the game environment, or the game asset that you will use to build upon and ultimately finish. So this beginning stage, this blackout, is extremely important because everything will be built onto it. It is your foundation. Remember, keep your blackout simple. Use primitive geometric shapes. And inside most of the game engines, this will be your BSP geometry. Focus on size, scale, proportion, dimensions, layout and composition. And if it's a playable level, you must also focus on gameplay, scripting, flow, pacing, so you can playtest as soon as possible. Work the entire environment on the entire level. Don't focus on any one area. You can focus more on each section or on each area later if needed, after you have the entire layout blocked in. Refine, update and iterate often. Use developer textures and use simple lighting. So, how do you start Blocktober? Anyone can start, participate, and share their blackouts with Blocktober. Before you do though, decide what you're going to work on. Here are three options you can do a standalone game environment, this is a single scene, one location, and it's not playable, but could be explorable. So, you don't need to Focus on gameplay. This can be a very small scene, such as a room, or it can be larger, such as multiple rooms or something outside. You could work on a playable level. This will require for you to block in and playtest. Gameplay, flow, pacing. You will probably need to script a few things. This could be single player or multiplayer. Or you can work on a game environment asset. This can include modular assets, a single hero asset, or props. Or you could combine two or do all three. What should you work on? Where do you get blackout ideas? 
you can use image reference, concept art, from architecture, your someday ideas. You can work on gameplay and scripting scenario. You can do a demo level for your game, a location in one of your favorite games, or a level within your favorite game, or you can do a movie scene. So really there's a lot of places you can pull ideas from. How to work in Blacktober. So many artists are very busy and don't have the luxury of taking an entire month or even a week to work on blackouts, specifically for Blocktober. So they share their previous work. You too can share your completed work of either final level comparison, showing the blackout, and the completed environment, or share unfinished blackouts. But of course, if you're not practicing, you're not improving. So I recommend that you start on something new and post your work as you go. And I also recommend, if you can afford, take this entire month of October and just work on blackouts. Immerse yourself into the community, into the energy of Blacktober, and work on blocking things out, your level designs, your environments, your assets, with everyone else. So here are Blacktober work ideas. As I mentioned, you can just post blackouts of completed work, before and after or post blackouts of unfinished work. You have one month, four weeks for Blacktober. You can work on one project the entire month, or you can work on multiple projects. You can do one idea for four weeks, which will give you one blackout. You can do two ideas, two weeks each, this will give you two blackouts. Or you can do four ideas, one week each, which will give you four blackouts. For complete immersion, you could do 31 days and 31 blackouts. One blackout per day. This is very intense and requires for you to put everything on hold so you can just work the entire month on blackouts. Whichever one you choose really depends on your time that you have available to work on this and the scale of the project. If it's something big, such as a small city, a village, a neighborhood, a single player level, or even a multiplayer level, with a lot of scripting, a lot of gameplay, then you may want to do just one project for the entire month. If you don't have a lot of time, then you may want to do smaller size projects that can be done very quickly over just a couple of days. So you just have to find the balance of how you work, the scale of the project, and the time you have available for it. And remember, you don't have to complete your blackouts or get them to a finished state. Blackouts are an iterative, creative, and explorative process. And after October is done, then you can take that level, or the standalone game environment, or the game asset, and then work it to completion. And if you worked on multiple blackouts, choose one to focus on and then get it done. But you would do this after Blacktober is finished. And I recommend that you take a look at the Abandoned House Project tutorial series I did on how this process of idea, blackout, to completion was used. So that will give you a better understanding of what you would need to do to turn your blackouts into completed projects. But again, for Blacktober, all you're trying to do is complete the blackout. So which software, which tools should you use? This is really completely up to you. You can use any game engine, any level editor, and any 3D software. New or old, it doesn't matter. What you should do is match what you're trying to black out to the tools that give you what you need. So for example, if you want to work on a playable level, then pick a game that has a level editor with it. This will give you the gameplay mechanics needed to black out your level, your map. And as a quick recommendation, you can use any source-based games. All come with a level editor. So if you were going to do something single player, then pick Half-Life 2 or Portal. If you're working on multiplayer, then you can use Counter-Strike Global Offensive or Left 4 Dead 2, which gives you a hybrid between single player and multiplayer. Or you can just pick any other game that comes with a level editor. If you're working on a 3D game asset or module assets, then use 3D software. You can use Maya LT or Maya, 3ds Max, Blender, 
modo, etc. And if you're working on a standalone game environment, without any gameplay, then you can use Unreal Engine 4, CryEngine, Unity, or other. After you begin and you have something to show, post it on Twitter with Blocktober hashtag. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Game Level Design and browse through Blocktober hashtag. You could post to Blocktober hashtag on Instagram and that would be secondary. Twitter is where everyone is at doing Blocktober, so I would focus on that on Twitter. And last thing, Blocktober was dedicated for the month of October, but if you missed it, you don't have to wait an entire year for the next October to show up to do Blocktober. You can follow the same guidelines in this tutorial and do blackouts for any other month in the year.